Hello YouTube, this is Daniel here from DB Tech Projects. Hope you're doing all well. Back here with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you this little um, PowerShell script that I created. Um, this little function to be able to save you time when you're working um, with Lambda. It can be quite an annoying process when you're developing Lambda um, functions and you, and you keep on having to zip up your function to re-upload it. It's, um, it can be quite a long process and it's generally just tedious um, throughout the whole thing. So let's just say you're working on a Lambda function like this one here and you just make a quick, quick little change. Um, so we've got this constant log and I wanted to change it to constant log test one, two, three. I would then have to save this file, go into Explorer and go to where the script is located. Um, so you can already see quite a lengthy process. You've got loads and loads of different um, sections or files. And we go to go to the folder, and then you would have to already delete this old one here, and then zip these two together. Then go over to your Lambda function page, and you'd normally have to browse this as well. Scroll down to here, actions, and then upload zip file so you can see it's quite a lengthy process and i wasn't going to sit around and do that anymore so we just i decided to create a little powershell function for this so it's upload lambda function and the parameters for this function will be the path of the folder of the files that you want to um, zip up so in this scenario it would be this this path here and then the destination path of where you want the, the zipped up file to be placed and then the function name. We then go through and compress, use the compress archive PowerShell function to compress the folders, or sorry, compress the files for your Lambda function. We use the compressed level fastest switch here um, because generally I found this command to be quite slow. So we're using that. And then I just add in the force parameter here, which would just overwrite um, any previous zip files that you have with the same name. We then have the AWS CLI command. So this will require the AWS CLI installed and also your access keys configured as well for programmatic access. Um, I will put the links in the description for that, but it's quite a um, quick thing to get sorted out. And so this function here is AWS Lambda update function code, function name, and then we use the string that you provided for the function name, and then the file path for the, the destination path of the zip file, which we give it here. So if you take a look at the, um, the full command here, we can see we're calling upload Lambda function. We've got the path of the files and we're using the wildcard to say all files in that directory. We have the destination path, which is where the function.zip is going to be saved to. And then we have the function name, which I've taken from my Lambda function here. So let's go ahead and change, make a small change to that function so we're able to see that this, this has worked. So I'm going to change this to test space YouTube. Give that a save. And then we're going to come into here and then run this, this line. So you can see it's going off and it's compressing the files. And now it's compressed it and it will upload it to Lambda and we should get an output like the one above. All right, we can see that's been successful. We've been given the output back from AWS. So we've got the function name, the ARN, the runtime, and all the information about our Lambda function. So now that's been completed, I can now show you that it's worked successfully. If we go into the, the CloudWatch logs for this um, Lambda function, and we'll just reload this and get the latest 
log go back here and what we're going to do is we're going to invoke this function so all this function does um, for me is it takes whatever in this text box here and then it posts it to a dynamo db database and that is effectively the description for a user account this is a little social media app that i'm working on so i'm going to go ahead and change this here so update description Okay, it's just reloading the page and we can see it's now worked because this has persisted and if we go to this user's profile we'll also be able to see it on there as well yep so we can see this is my account description and that has been persisted on there so we see the lambda function has worked and if I now go into my CloudWatch logs and click on the latest log, we should be able to see, there we go, we've got that constant log in here for test YouTube showing that this is the up-to-date Lambda function. So as always, this, um, this function will be in my GitHub and I will post the link to it. And this should save you guys a lot of time if you're developing some Lambda functions. So yep, thank you for watching guys, um, post any comments, post any questions in the comments, please like the video and please subscribe.